Ramsim is an AI and embryo center near Bluefontein that renders a full-time reproduction service to all sheep, goat, and cattle breeders. Dr. Fonnestein and I are talking about how technology in reproduction influences sheep production. My name is Ansi de Bisson, and I'm working at Ramsim for the past 22 years. It's a privilege to share my passion for reproduction with you, especially because the topic fits our motto, technology plus expertise equals results. Reproduction in sheep farming is measured by the quantity and quality of lambs born. More and better quality lambs increase the income. And you also have better genetics available to choose from. This provides in the needs of the market and this is possible by using the newest technology and expertise. Ramsim strives to use the newest technology and equipment in our labs and specializes in sheep reproduction for the last 36 years. We specialize in semen collection and freezing, synchronization products, laparoscopic insemination, embryo flushing, and semen sexing. For one step freezing, good quality semen is diluted at 34 degrees Celsius with the prepared media. Only the samples meeting quality standards are diluted according to the density. The diluted semen is cooled in a walk-in refrigerator to 5 degrees Celsius over a period. Semen straws are identified by a straw printer by means of heat transferred ink. Then semen straws are filled with an automated filling machine that seals the straw with ultrasound. The straws are frozen at a controlled rate in a liquid nitrogen freezing chamber. One straw from each batch is taken the next day and quality control evaluation is done with a high resolution face contrast microscope equipped with a warm stage at 37 degrees Celsius. Only batches of semen with a progressive motility of 50% and higher are kept for AI. An incubation test where semen is kept for two to four hours in a water bath at 37 degrees Celsius is an additional requirement to ensure good conception results. One straw of 0.25 milliliter with good post fertility is regarded as a semen dose per year. Each straw consists of at least 20 million spermatozoa in total. The advantages of frozen semen is the best form of insurance for a ram's genetics. If the ram dies or getting injured, the genetics are not completely lost. The semen of rams can be collected, frozen, and stored in liquid nitrogen for an exceptionally long time. The results have shown up to 50 years. The frozen semen of a superior ram with unique value in wool quality or growth characteristics, such as feed, feed conversion ratio and average daily gain, can be made available to the sheep industry. More use can be inseminated with the semen of such a superior ram in the same season. More lambs of a higher quality will be born, and a higher price can be obtained on the offspring. Co-owners can also use the same ram's frozen semen on most of their use without the risk of the ram getting injured during transport in between farms and breeders. Frozen semen is the best way to share the genetics of a ram. Breeders can buy the frozen semen of a superior ram and with the use of laparoscopic AI, achieve rapid genetic progress in their flocks without investing in buying and feeding a big group of rams with inferior quality. Synchronization helps the ewe reach her genetic potential and helps with the management of an intensive system. Synchronization will assist you to do controlled breeding and have a shorter planned lambing season with additional advantages such as efficient use of lambing pens, minimizing losses around lambing time. 
Our ground sponges or cider inserts treated with progesterone hormone are inserted in a U to synchronize her estrus cycle. And during withdrawal, a hormone, PMSG, pregnant mare serum, is injected intramuscular. PMSG promotes follicular development, increases ovulation, and thereby lambing percentage. You can add therefore value to your flock, considering that there will be an increase in the number of high quality lambs over a shorter period of time. However, you should not lose sight of the fact that synchronization alone is not enough to provide more lambs. Sound management and correct feeding is required. And the success of the entire procedure depends on how well the sheep and goats are cared for. Nutrition and condition are therefore non-negotiable. Synchronization creates a favorable environment for the sperm and egg to meet, and the use are on heat at approximately the same time for controlled breeding. And therefore, rams can be used optimally. Better quality or more expensive rams can be purchased. For less rams are required. And this equates the rapid genetic progression in your flock. In the table, you will see that with natural mating, only 30 to 40 ewes can be mated with one specific ram in a season, while much more ewes can be fertilized using cervical or laparoscopic insemination. After synchronization, other mating methods can be used I will now compare the other mating methods to show you that you can impregnate much more use with a specific ram over a shorter period using synchronization and different AI methods. A ram can cover five use every second or third day with hand mating after synchronization. This means about 60 use in five weeks instead of 30 to 40 years with natural mating. The fresh semen of a single ram can be used to do cervical AI after synchronization on 20 to 60 years every day. Laparoscopic insemination can be used to inseminate 100 to 500 years or even more with one ram's fresh semen per day. Laparoscopic AI can also be used to inseminate use with frozen semen. And then the only restriction will be on how many use the veterinarian can do in one day, plus minus 300 use per veterinarian. There are additional advantages of synchronization. Synchronization will allow you to plan the lambing season and marketing of lambs for a specific time in the year when there is more food available or you can get a higher price for your product at the market. Use that are pregnant after synchronization will lamb in a period of five days. This shorter planned lambing period means the lambs are the same age, which facilitates and eases the weaning, marketing, and record keeping of the lambs. Scanning for pregnancy is more accurate and you can scan as soon as 42 days after mating. Non-pregnant use can be mated again or slaughtered and you do not miss five months with an unproductive view. Better management and nutrition can be applied over shorter periods because the pregnancy status of the ewe is known. This will ensure that the ewe receives the right nutrition according to her pregnancy status, single or twin lambs, and save you money. The shorter planned lambing period will also allow you to better protect your lambs against predators or adverse weather, therefore, thereby ensuring a higher winning percentage for a bigger profit. Laparoscopic insemination is an endoscopic procedure where fresh or frozen semen is instilled directly in the lumen of the uterine horns of the ewe. 
Laparoscopic AI was initially developed due to the fact that a sheep's cervix cannot be penetrated with a normal artificial insemination pipette because of cross bleeding inside the cervix. The consequence is that not enough sperm can move through the cervix, leaving a negative result on conception and fertilization. It is thus the only method that frozen ram semen can be used. These days, a lot of breeders make also use of fresh semen laparoscopic insemination that enables them to inseminate the highest number of ewes with a stud ram. It is possible to inseminate up to 500 ewes with a single ram's fresh semen laparoscopic on a day. You need an experienced veterinarian with the right equipment to do laparoscopic AI. Do you get a sedative drug? And then two small incisions are made in the abdomen. An endoscope attached to a light source is inserted in one hole through the cannula to identify the uterine horns. On the other side, a transcap and aspic with semen is inserted. The aspic with a needle is used to inject the semen into each of the uterine horns. The use of laparoscopic AI method in sheep enables you to impregnate a maximum number of ewes in one season with a superior ram's semen. Welcome inside a lab in front of the microscope. My happy place where I'm still amazed for the wonder of every embryo through the technique of embryo flushing. The U makes up 50% of the lamb's genetics. When making use of natural mating, an average U will produce 6 to 12 lambs in a lifetime. Female animals can produce far more eggs than they ever need in their lifetime. Where artificial insemination multiplies the genetics of superior males, embryo flushing is the best way to multiply the genetics of an outstanding female. Because 0 to 12 or more embryos can be collected with one flushing, and then you can be flushed several times. And you can be synchronized to super overlate, in other words, making many egg cells available at the same time. These egg cells are then fertilized by means of laparoscopic AI. Five to six days later, the fertilized egg cells called, an, called embryos is flushed from the uterus horns with a short procedure on the aesthetics and the embryos are collected. These embryos can then be freshly transferred to recipient use, or the embryos can be frozen for later transfer. Embryos can also be flushed and frozen, and then be exported to other countries. I thank you 